All right, guys, third time's the charm. We've been on the play every one, I think, so should be fine. Uh, but yeah, round three slash round one of our uh, modern video with blue eye blink, we have uh, early drops and late drops and lands. So this seems great. I don't know if our opponent if our opponent's just dirtling too. Then wall of omens into pilgrim's eye, drawing cards, replacing themselves. Working your way up to Sun Titan, doing fun things. Seems like it should be great. We will see. I don't know. Like, I'm starting to get the feeling that, I don't know, it's so dangerous to just keep discounting this deck and say that every time it wins, it's winning because it's just been getting lucky. But it keeps winning events. And I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm running into some bad luck and the deck's really great. Um, if you think so, uh, I guess let me know in the comments um, if you see something that I'm doing wrong. Obviously, countering the Cascade spells and not the Living End is incorrect. Um, but other than that, I feel like I've been playing relatively okay Magic and have just been getting stomped. Living End and Merfolk, I guess, aren't the easiest matchups. Living End should be solid. I feel like that one was ours to win and then we let it slip away or it slipped away from us. I don't know if there was anything we could have done differently, but yeah, I'm blocking all day. Wall of Omens just saved me five damage. I play a Pilgrim's Eye next turn. He's going to chump too. That is the plan. So let's play our planes. Pilgrim's Eye, give me an island, I guess. Do we need double blue for anything? No. I'm just going to get more planes then. We have the Emeria. I guess Island lets me cast Verdict. No, I think I get planes. If I'm winning this game, it's definitely going to be past turn 8, so... I think I just need all the planes I'm going to get, or I can get. And this is because like I'll be playing Wall of Omens next turn, so I'll have an opportunity to play this Hollowed Fountain without having to shock it. Eidolon. All right, new plan. Eidolon makes things different. Sweet. Leakia. Yeah, next turn we cast Sun Titan. Get back a wall. Should be good from there. Yeah, it's turn six, we're at 17. We have another negate in hand. Our opponent only has four cards left. We crushed them. Wall of Omens did work. Otherwise, we would have been at 12. Yeah, we should be okay. And, like, we get to play four Lone Missionary. This matchup seems like it's fun. It's 
Seems loose. We have the negate, we can go to seven. I think I just want to ramp. Yeah, he casts another spell, he's dead to the Sun Titan hit, so. And if he casts two spells, like a four and a three, I could just negate, so should be over. We're saving the Flutter Strand, though. Um, four, five. Four, five, six. Yeah, we're one land away. Um... He's, yeah, he's forced into blocking here. Yup. Sun Titan's good. Come on, deck. Uh, five, six, seven. If you control seven or more planes, return a creature card. I don't have a creature card. But he can attack. I guess this thins a land out of my deck. Um, I can turn off his Boros Charm. I attack, I get a land out of his deck, but he can't get a planes. All right, so we'll blow our ghost, or flooded strand. Thin our deck. And then we're going to bring back our Ghost Quarter on the attack and blow his Sacred Foundry. That makes things a little different. Yeah, we need to turn off his uh, his Boros Charms, I believe. Our opponent would be at three if he didn't just like take an extra two damage from his Eidolon because of his sequencing. So I don't think that really, like the fact that he's at one really matters because technically he like gave us two points. Please no burn. All right, we got there. Phew. Excellent. Okay, game two. Um, we want the Dispel, we want 
this thing. We want Lone Missionary. We want Negate. Spreading Seas is good too. Middling Mage seems fine. Ogresize Command seems awesome. Detention Sphere seems poor. The Path of Exiles seem eh. We don't want all these Sun Titans. We can gifts for like Lone Missionary, Negate, Dispel, Ogresize Command. Mortar pod seems bad. I think we play it like that. Our burn matchup seems fine. We have the path for his turn one guy. And then a spreading seas. Ugh. Pat like path into spreading seas is just so awkward. Like if he suspends another rift bolt, we actually get to get it with the meddling mage. He has to like waste a lightning bolt on our meddling mage so we can cast this rift bolt. Nice. <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah, so like he spends a Rift Bolt, um, we cast Meddling Mage, naming Rift Bolt. Now he like has to have a Bolt, or we basically just get to like counter that Rift Bolt. And if he has a Bolt, that's perfectly fine because it gets the Meddling Mage in the graveyard where we want it, gained us three life, and then we just get to Ochitize Command it back later on. Like the Meddling Mage was basically just a Mana Leak. Which I will gladly take. Gladly. Two cards left. Yeah, we'll just cycle this while we can. Interesting that he doesn't fetch there. I guess he's worried about the second spreading seas, which we actually ended up having. Um, we don't want the Ojitize Command to just get skull cracked, so we'll wait until our sixth, uh, sixth mana. I almost just want to use this on my Ghost Quarter. I like where we're at now. As long as we can just like gain four life, this Ochoice command will end up being two cards. Um, go get a Hallowed Fountain.
This is just two damage. Like, we get Ocean Shadow's Command to bring the Meddling Mage back and actually be able to start. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. So he'll probably try and cast the skull crack here. Wow. I'm gonna name skull crack then. And the pecking begins. I feel like this deck could use the snapcaster mage. Probably over the gifts ungiven. So we're gonna man like that, and then we're just gonna go ahead and pop a sacred foundry. I know this gets us off of Sun Titan mana, but I think it seems like he's just got a bunch of uh, red white lands stuck in hand. I think I'm fine with that. I'm just trying, like, he has Boros Charms and Lightning Helixes that are, like, better instants. Yeah, now it's just a race, and I think I can win this. Just because even if he drew straight burn spells, I should be fine. Sun Titan. Sun Titan. That's unfortunate, because I can't path to get a land to cast the Sun Titan because I'll shuffle my Sun Titan. So I guess we're just gonna pass this guy. Draw our Sun Titan that we can't cast. Is he out of basics? Value. We're negating that. So we know Shard Volley is a blank, Boros Charm is a blank, Lightning Helix is a blank, creatures are like relative blanks. Yeah. There's no two cards in his deck that he can draw that'll uh, that'll save him here. We have Sun Titan coming down next turn, so. Wait. 
All right, blue white crushes burn. Not bad. All right, we won one, two zero. Here we go. All right, guys, we'll be back for round two.